Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part two of our series of session on release 3.0 highlights. In this session, we will learn how to enable multi GSTN in the single company and what are the other relevant configurations that are required for you to start capturing data with multi GSTN in Tally Prime release 3. Let us go to Tally and explore the option of multi GST in release 3 of Tally Prime. Setting up of multi GST registration in Tally Prime is very simple. If you follow the steps I am going to demonstrate. Let me create a new company for the benefit of viewers who want to enable GST for the first time. Nevertheless, you can enable GST and also multi registration for your existing company as well. Select create company, enter. I am going to create a company as tally release 3.0 and all highlights of release 3.0 we will experience in this company. For creating the company, two things are very critical. One is the name of the company and make sure the financial year beginning from is there. Rest of the information can be updated at a later point in time. So I'm going to save this. The moment I save this, you will now see the option here under taxation, enable goods and service tax. It is already yes. Click here and press enter. The first GST configuration, we will do it for the state of Karnataka. I'm going to select Karnataka. So we're getting a message here saying that if the state is changed here, then your transactions, invoice printing report and return will be impacted. Except registration type, we will select regular. Assessee of other territory is no. GSTN, you have to enter the GSTN and here the GSTN is going to be validated for the genuine GST number. If the number is entered wrongly, Tally is going to give a warning. It is not going to validate whether this GST belongs to the respective GST dealer or no, but the validation is done for the 15 digit genuine GST number. Now here deliberately I am going to make a mistake and when I press enter, you will notice here the company GST in UNI provided is invalid or incomplete. So you just press enter, go back and then I'm going to now specify the correct character. Enter. Now you will observe that there is no message. So periodicity of GST, we will select monthly. Is he invoicing applicable? No. EVA bill also, let us set it as no. And now we are going to accept. Next is we have to set up the GST rate and provide other information related to GST. So make this as yes, enter. And here is where we are going to specify the HSN details and also the GST rate detail, which we are specifying this at the company level. So for HSN SAC detail, let us select specify detail here, enter and we can specify the HSN. So I'm going to enter some random number description. Again, I'm going to type computer in a live data. You have to enter proper HSN and the description. Now coming to the rate information. Again, we are going to say specify details here. Taxability is going to be taxable and here we are going to enter the IGST rate as 18. The moment you enter IGST rate as 18, Tally will automatically split 50% for CGST, another 50% for SGST or UTGST. Now, just in case some of you, if you are not getting this information and also if you are not getting the breakup of the taxes, then you have to click F12 configure here. And this is where you have this options which you can enable. So provide HSN SAC detail is yes. Description is yes. Provide breakup of tax rate is yes. Since these three options are yes, we are able to view there. Rest of the option we will discuss at a later point in time in a separate video. And just make sure this ignore differences in tax value is also set to yes. And press control A. Coming to ignore differences in tax value, just type one. And when actual taxes, you can specify as greater or lesser than computed tax. That means whatever is the value that gets computed, the fraction amount we are saying to round it off to the nearest one for either greater computed tax value or lesser computed tax value. So GST advance for adjustments in the transactions, we will leave it as no. We will have a separate video to discuss on this feature. So I'm going to press control A. Now we have enabled the GST module for this company. 
where the GST registration is in the state of Karnataka. Now, in case you want to create another GST registration of a different state, in that case, there are two ways of doing it. One is you come back here and then press enter and come to the last option here, which says create another GST registration for the company. Click here and when you say yes, it will now open up for the next GST registration detail. This is one way of doing it. The other way, once you are here, you can press control A and now when you come to master create enter, you will now see under statutory master, you have GST registration. Any number of GST registrations can be created. So I come down here and then select GST registration. So Tally is saying already there is a company with GST registration. Do you want to alter the existing information of the GST registration or do we want to create a new one? So we will click on create new and in this case now we will select the state as Maharashtra. Again regular no GST number we have to enter periodicity is monthly e invoice no e way bill is also no read this message carefully you can create unique voucher numbering series to cater to multiple GST registrations you can do this by going to chart of account and selecting the relevant voucher types open chart of accounts and create now, now as far as the tax invoice is concerned you need to have a unique running series of numbers for each of the registration. So that is where this option will help us to maintain unique series number for each of the registration. So when you press yes, Tally is going to take you to the list of voucher types under the chart of account. Let us say we want to create unique number for separate registration that is for sales. First we will take sales. So I go to sales here and if you notice here on the right hand side button bar, you have this button called create voucher number series. Either I can click here or I can press Alt S. Again, we have two options to specify the unique voucher series. By clicking here, we get the numbering series detail. So we can enter the numbering series here. That is, I will say KA sales for Karnataka registration sales. Method of voucher numbering, we will keep it as automatic. Retain original voucher number. Again, we will have a separate video on the benefit and the feature of this retain original voucher number select retain voucher number now enter set alter additional voucher numbering detail this will be helpful for you to quickly identify sales voucher when you are capturing which registration series it is yes here and here we have this thing starting number from one and accept so this is one way of quickly setting up your unique voucher series the other way is through your voucher type alteration screen for which you can come here and then select enter when you press enter it will take you to the voucher type alteration screen now here you have this option called define multiple numbering series for voucher let's come here and then set it to yes and now we can set up multiple numbering series here you notice we have already created this using alt s in this simple configuration so to create a new series, again, when you come here and click here, we will see the same screen here. In this case, we are going to say MH sales automatic retain original, then set alter. Yes. Again, we can set it up here. In the prefix, we will say MH slash and again, the year. So you will notice here we have created two separate unique series for the sales voucher type escape and then we save this control a so we have set up the voucher series for each of the gst registration we have also specified the gst rate at the company level we have to now create ledger masters that is your sales ledger purchase ledger gst tax ledgers individually cgst sgst and igst party master and the stock item. I have already created these masters. Let us now go and then pass a sales invoice and see what happens. Voucher entry. And when I press F8 sales, Terry is going to ask me what is the voucher series that you want, whether it is default, the KA series or the MH series. So let us select KA series and enter. Now you will notice that we are going to capture the sales invoice for GST registration of Karnataka registration and the voucher series we had specified prefix 
and suffix so now we know that ka is the sales entry that is being done for karnataka registration so i'm going to press enter party i'm going to select customer karnataka sales ledger item i am going to select acer laptop one number sales price is 30000 so only one item we are selling press enter and now we are going to select the tax ledger cgst enter and tally is automatically calculated the tax ledger a small change here when you are creating the gst tax master earlier we used to have type of tax as central tax integrated tax and state tax so now there is a change here it says cgst for central tax sgst or utgst depending on the state or union territory and igst so this is the change from the previous version enter now we are going to select sgst enter and the rate is calculated automatically important information that you have to keep in mind is that when you are setting the master for gst configuration while passing the entry after selecting the respective tax ledger if tally is not calculating tax that means there is some error in the master configuration we have to look into it i have saved this now let us say we want to pass a sales entry for the maharashtra registration so how do we change it again on the right hand side button bar you will see this company tax and registration when you click here now tally is going to ask you for which state registration we want to pass this entry so we are going to select maharashtra registration okay, and this is the series that we want to what is the series that we want to set for maharashtra we have already created mh sales series so come down here and press enter and then the voucher numbering will be the system default what we have already configured enter and you will now see here the gst registration is for maharashtra registration and the sales voucher number prefix is mh suffix we have already entered as 2324 and we are going to now make an entry to the same customer who is in karnataka sales ledger and the same item we are going to sell to the customer who is in karnataka from maharashtra two numbers 60000 enter and now since the billing is done from maharashtra to a customer who is in karnataka the tax that needs to be selected is igst enter and you will notice that igst is automatically calculated you can just save this voucher control a so we have now passed two sales entry for each of the gst registration so let us now go to the gst return form and see the implication click here go to and just type 1 and select gstr1 and here we are seeing two vouchers and the values here and notice here the gstr1 report is now displaying the information related to all the registrations that you have created and transacted in this company so when you select the transaction here and when you press enter we will now see the individual transactions related to the respective gst registration of the state whereas the customer is the same but then one is karnataka where there is this cgst sgst and the second one billing is from maharashtra registration to the same party in karnataka the igst is there okay now if you want to see the gstr1 for a respective state registration it is very simple all you need to do here is again come here and click on company tax registration and select karnataka enter and we will see only the karnataka's gstr1 to view maharashtra gstr1 again you come here and then select maharashtra and we will see the transactions related to maharashtra this whole sequence of master creation configuration and transaction what we have done in this company is the basic configuration that we have configured that is at the company level we have specified the rate and while creating the masters you don't have to specify anything in the next video we will see what are the additional configurations that the user can choose to configure in the various masters i hope this video would have given you a clear idea of how quickly you can 
enable multi gstn for your company and also how we can create a separate voucher series for each of the registration and we saw how quickly we are able to capture the data or the transactions related to tax invoice for each of the gstn registration in the next session we will actually see additional configurations that are available while creating the gst registration information that would really help you to further simplify your transaction or make your transaction more gst compliant thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much Thank you.